Alice and John are going on a holiday on a cruise ship. Ooh. See, John put on the clothes he wears every time he goes cruising. <laughs> black velvet frock coat with red trimmings. Black and white. Sorry, 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 this has happened. <laughs> At your age, <laughs> matching lead riches, white socks, a white frilly shirt with red lace drops and cuffs, and a matching red hat with a feather in it. John? <laughs> Janet stuffs John into his safety seat and gives him a barley sugar for the journey. And they drive to the docks. When they arrive in the car park, John helps Janet unload the 17 cases of clothes he has brought to the ship. <laughs> While the bags have been put on a trolley, John refreshes his makeup as his lipstick has smudged because of the sweets. <laughs> Messy John. Tell us to John, follow the signs to embarkation. And while Janet is queuing, John hops and skips up and down the dock, swinging his handbag. <laughs> when they get on board, there's a champagne reception. Do you like champagne? Yeah. I'm yes. <laughs> not allowed to have more than two thrusters. <laughs> or he goes all fluff. <laughs> Else in this house, <laughs> After they finish their drinks, Janet says, I'm going to the cabin now. I'm quite tired after a long drive. I'll meet you for lunch by the entrance to the ballroom in an hour. Do try and behave. I will, says John. <laughs> See John walk up the main staircase to the promenade deck. Do you know what a promenade is? John thinks it's a lobster dish. <laughs> While John is practicing his best salty sea dog walk, he sees Mrs. Biggerdike. Oh. Hey, old fluffy whiskers, says Mrs. Biggerdike. Mrs. Biggerdike is from Yorkshire. Yeah. See Jeffrey Boycott. <laughs> Mrs. Biggerdike says, nice to see you on the trip again this year. Have you brought enough clothes this time? I'm yeah. sure I saw you wear the same outfit for three hours last year. <laughs> Funny, Mrs. Biggerdike. John says, yes, thank you. I have 17 cases this time. Are you, are you going to be in the cabaret this year? Mrs. Bickerdine says, not this time. For the last year, I've been doing those corporate stress management courses for some of those soft London types who don't know what a hard day's graft is. It's astonishing what you can get away with on these things. I had some of the last lot doing role play with glove puppets. I brought my SpongeBob puppet with me just in case. You're more than welcome to play with it if you want. I'm off to bingo now. See me later. See John wave goodbye to Mrs. Bickerdike and hop and skip among the dead. Oh dear. John sees Melanie Frontage. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Johnny, says Mrs. Frontage. Hello, Mrs. Frontage, says John. What fun. <laughs> the people out there have no idea. <laughs> the people out here have no idea. Melanie Frontage has a special shop. has a special shop selling helpful things for married people. <laughs> See the black windows. John says, I, I didn't know you liked cruises. And Melanie Frontage says, yes. I have some friends in the crew. I'm really looking forward to the dinner on Wednesday. And they have a special big seafood supper with a lot of winkles. <laughs> <laughs> do you like winkles? Sorry, do you like winkles? <laughs> Melody Frontage does. John says, I like the food, but the drinks are very expensive. <laughs> Ellie Frontage says, yes they are. I always bring my own bottle of Grand Marnier in my bag and top up my glass under the table. You're more than welcome to join me for a drink at dinner if you like. Thank you! Says John. Soon it's time to meet Janet for lunch. See John skip gaily down the stairs to the ballroom. Soon Janet arrives and John, Janet says, have you been a good boy? Yes, says John. I saw Mr. Dickens. <laughs> telling me all about the new service she's providing. She does executive relief with a SpongeBob glove part and said, I'd be welcome to try it out later. 
that I saw Melanie Funtage. She said she had friends in the crew and was looking forward to trying the huge Winkle supper and said that if I wanted, I could join her for dinner and lick her under the table. <laughs> Be gone,